Hey, The Mad Hermit here, and in this video, I want to take you through the process of installing Shroud of the Avatar on your computer. Now, there's two ways to go about doing this, and I'm going to show you how to do it through Steam. But let's start from the top. When you get to the Shroud of the Avatar website, you're going to want to log into your account. You can click log in here or up here. Once you log in, you're going to enter your credentials and you are going to be on the main internal Shroud of the Avatar website. From here, you're gonna to wanna to go to your account page and that's up here in the top right. You click account and now you should see all the information pertaining to your account. And you're gonna to wanna to scroll to the bottom of this and at the very bottom, you can see that there's two ways to play. You could get the uh, client and you could download that for Windows, Mac OS X or Linux. And this allows you to play uh, directly without having to go through Steam. But one of the new features is the ability to play through Steam. So if you have a Steam account, you're gonna need a Steam key. And you can use either method, the direct download method or the Steam method and you can switch between either or, but to install the Steam client, to get your key rather, you're gonna click here, and this is gonna allow you to log in through Steam. So now I need to put my Steam username and password, so let's do that. And you're gonna click sign in. And as you can see, you're gonna get this message uh, because I am logging in through a browser that says I need to make sure that I've um, added my security code that they just sent to me via email. So I'm gonna check my email and enter in the appropriate code. And that's a Steam thing, by the way. It has nothing to do with Shroud of the Avatar. Essentially what Steam wants to do is confirm that the browser that I opened on this computer is authorized to access my Steam account. So I'm gonna enter my code here and submit it. I have to give it a friendly name, apparently. Okay, now I can proceed to Steam. And it says here that Shroud the Avatar is requesting permission to access the following. It says I can redeem and activate CD keys. So let's allow Shroud the Avatar to do that. And it says, congratulations, you have redeemed your access key to play Shroud of the Avatar on Steam. You can now play the game using Steam. Also check your account page for details. So once you've done that, uh, that means that everything's good in the world. And now if I pulled up Steam, let's see if I can pull up Steam here. If I look in my library, I should see Shroud of the Avatar. And there it is and I can click install. And now Steam is downloading it and you can see the progress indicator. And as I understand it, this will install the 32-bit version of Shroud of the Avatar. Um, I don't know that there's a way at the moment for you to install the 64-bit version, but that's okay because the 32-bit version uh, as I understand it, it's also more stable than the 64-bit version at this point. And the 64-bit version, you know, it allows you to access more memory if you have it. But uh, if that's not critical to you, then 32-bit uh, should be fine. All right, once it's fully installed, you'll be able to hit the play button from Steam. And this will bypass the normal launcher you get. and you're ready to go. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you next time.